All right. Welcome back. One and all. Now today, we're going to do something a bit slightly different and go back to the hacked fire red version. Let's skip that. Which, those of you who don't know, this game's called Dragon Ball Z Team Train. Or I like to personally call it Dragon Ball Mon Z. However, so I started this on my Android phone because you can get an emulator app. So my Game Boy Advance GBA emulator from Play Store. And you can also download the game if you've seen my prior videos. You would, would have found the link from the what, what's it called media something. Anyway, let's load my current data save file. As you can see, I'm in what's to be Professor Oak's lab, but in this case, it's Doctor Briefs. Here is <laughs> sort of Gary. I named him Kakarot, of course. Sure he does. Wanna prove it in the fight? I bet you do. And this was to be the Bulbasaur. If enemy appears, your fighter can battle it. With him at your side, you should be able to reach the next town. So instead of Pokedex, they have Scouters. Very intriguing. Hmm. So we picked our fighter, which of course is none other than Vegeta. Who I nicknamed, of course, Iron Prince, since it fits. Couldn't name myself that since seven letters blocked limit. Let's go to summary now. Oh my god. Yeah, this is what happened. What are the chances? Seriously. I, I reset this a couple of times in order to get my desired nature. And this actually occurred on the same tripping balls day prior when I was... Oh, when I watched Dragon Ball Super, that episode 37. If those who don't know what it is, I will explain soon enough, but SP defense speed is not too bad, SP attack is a bit lacking, 9, attack and defense are even with 10, he has the battle armor, so it blocks critical hits, that's a very good ability to have, power up, punch, okay. Now that, now that that shock is out of the way, let's give our rival his desired challenge. Wait, Vietoli, battle me with your fight. Come on, I'll take you on. <laughs> Certainly. Rival Captain would like to battle. Send him. Go hard. And, you see that? Those of you who don't know, usually, if you have a Pokemon that has a star and glows like that, it's referred to as being a shiny. In this case, I have a freaking shiny Prince Vegeta, and it's like shadow form. So it's like, whoever designed this game clearly did not make shiny sprites for this. Or maybe they did and they just wanted, to, wanted them to appear in shadow form. I don't know. But, still, 
your chances of getting or running across shiny is extremely rare. One in oh, was it eight thousand? Was it eight hundred thousand? Well, the odds are extremely low. Let's just put it that much. Potential stuff like that. Almost got him. Get down, go on. Shame, because I'd rather fight Kakarot, but it is what it is. Vegeta takes the spot of Charmander, and Gohan takes the spot of Squirtle. Making Kakarot, obviously, the Bulbasaur, which hardly anyone picks. Well, at least to my knowledge. We do that. We'll do the same. I don't. <clears throat> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Good thing is I didn't even have to use any freaking stinking onagui that replaced potions this time. I'll show you what they are. There you go. Anyway, still this gum. Gary, or however you pronounce it. So, the nature that ended up with this shiny Prince Vegeta is of the careful variety. That means it raises your SP defense unfortunately lowers your SP attack. I think when it comes to this fighter, I'd mostly rely on his physical attacks. Pity lowers the power of Gallic Gun and final, potentially final flash and whatever later on. Now, for those who who don't know, the the way I'm recording <clears throat> this from my phone is actually from an another app that I've downloaded from in the Play Store. Pretty much, it screen records, screen captures whatever is playing, whatever you're doing on your phone at the time, like like a video. Could try using the standard ones that some phones are built in with, like I have a Sony Xperia Z3. However, they don't let you record for very long. The the standard just lets you record for two minutes or something at max. 
not not long enough if you're doing if you're making a video like this, obviously. Right. Annoying. Okay, let's finish him off. We'll go heal in the heal center. Of course, it can't be called Pokemon Center. That wouldn't make any sense. All the towns have been changed. So this is Iru Village or something. Probably named after actual towns and that Dragon Ball Z has. We come from Mount Powerzy. Which is actually where Kakarot lives. Hmm. I wonder which town will be named West City. Again, maybe not. But you'd think Dr. Brief would be there, not here. Okay, level 8. Max HP 25, attack is 14, defense bit lacking on 13, SP attack is built up a bit, 14, SP defense 15, and speed 16. So a little bit out of whack. But, lo and behold, <clears throat> Iron Prince has now learned the Gallic Gun. Garrick gun, the way they spelled it. Let's showcase that power now. Still powerful nonetheless, whether the stat is lacking or not. So yeah, instead of Pokemon, we come across fighters of all different varieties, shapes and forms. This kind of reminds me of Dokken Battle in a way. We can virtually and potentially collect any fighter from the vast world of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and of course Dragon Ball Super. Okay, let's check that skeleton out. And yes, it is exactly as I say. They're all of the fight type, obviously. And Vegeta is in spot number four, which would be Charmander's. Two empty spots before Gohan, five and six. That would be the transformation evolutions. Super Saiyan, of course, and... Hmm. 
the final one, Super Saiyan 2, or it could be 4, the ultimate whatever form, I guess. Gohan must be Super Saiyan and either Super Saiyan 2 or they go to ultimate or Mystic Gohan or whatever you want to call it. And Kakarot would be number one, Bulbasaur in Super Saiyan 2 and 2 and Super Saiyan 3 and 3, I guess. Anyway. Let's move on. I wonder. Cacrot's house. Eh, should have called myself Regina, maybe. Oh, funny if that would have been Bulma. <laughs> 